The Center for the Visually Impaired, The Basics of Braille. The announcement of information about organizations, products, and services in this video are not to be interpreted as an endorsement by the Center for the Visually Impaired. Okay, if you are familiar with the Center logo, you know that there is a series of six dots. And those six dots on the Center logo represents the Braille cell. The Braille cell has three dots on the left, which are numbered one at the top, two in the middle, and three at the bottom. On the right side, directly across, you have dots four, five, and six at the bottom. And this, by the way, is a muffin tin with six cups that I'm using as my exaggerated Braille cell. The letters of the alphabet Dot the letters A one A through J are made by using the top four dots in the cell. A is dot one, B is one and two, C is one and four, D one four five, and on through J, which is two four five. You're gonna add dot three to the first ten letters to make the K through T. And you're going to add dots six, <clears throat> three and six to the first ten, first five letters to make the um, U, V, X, Y, Z. The W is different because W was not a letter in the French alphabet at the time that Louis Braille invented the Braille code. The numbers, you're going to add a number sign to letters one, A through J to represent numbers 1 through 9 and J is 0. And then you're going to add the numbers as you do in, in the print with the two digits and three digits. The number sign, which is dots 3, 4, 5, 6, placed in front of the letters, turn the letters to numbers. The number sign will hold its value until, there, until there's a space. And if there's not a new number sign, when you read the next set of uh, characters, you're going to uh, resume reading them as letters. The punctuations are in the lower half of the cell, which is the letters A through J again, representing all the punctuations that there are in the, the um, English language and in the Braille code. Um, Braille is in two levels. Level one is the letters, the punctuations, and the numbers. And level two is the contractions and short form words and word signs, which is what you're going to use when you're going to read anything that's written in literary Braille. And what this does is conserve space and speed up the reading time. And some people learn grade one because all they want to do is label things and just jot down quick notes. And people who want to actually read things that are embossed in Braille will learn the full code. A lot, I don't know if you are familiar with this, but the Apple products, all of them have the capacity uh, to accommodate Braille users. And it, also, we have Braille displays, which we can Bluetooth to the uh, Apple products and have it come up on the Braille display for us to read or we can do text messaging uh, but with the phones and we can braille has no limits in this day and time and i recommend that everybody who has low vision or no vision learn the code special thanks to annie maxwell lifetime braille reader www.cviga.org